Hello Aries and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot reading. Today Aries, I'll be doing your incoming love messages. What is it that you need to know? Who is coming and also what is the possible outcome? So thank you so much Aries for joining me. I will be using the Easy Tarot and the Grand Tarot Lux cards. If you do wish to purchase your own deck and start practicing reading for yourself, that's down below in the description box. Also our Grand tarot master course will go live in november so if you still wish to be part of our early bird discount please email us your interest at fifi at gmail.com we will add you and notify you when our course will be live so many exciting news but enough of me talking aries let's get down to business let's have a look at your incoming love messages which i'm actually excited to know also what is it that we need to know, Aries? So I'm just going to shuffle the cards too. So behind the deck, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. We're off to a great start, Aries. The Wheel of Fortune, we know that is also linked to luck. Having that luck, having everything go smoothly for you, just having everything just, just go smooth. Everything is just going so fine. From being at the bottom of the wheel, you're going to start being on top. This is also an excellent card for career, finances, travel, money, romance, literally the whole package. This is excellent, excellent. So again, beautiful. This is absolutely wonderful, um, Aries. This is a quite a hard love scene, the Wheel of Fortune, actually. But you have been dealing with someone, though, that's been lying, stealing, and cheating. Don't worry about this. If that resonates with you, you're going to be on top of the wheel. This is just, just um, people that you've been dealing with, troublemakers. Don't worry. We're going to start your reading, please. I'm just going to move these to the side. Okay, let's have a look at the current energy. We do have the Two of Wands. Mm, you, Three of Swords. Who's coming? Mm, we do have the High Priestess. So, current energies, not knowing what to do, reaching a crossroad. Do I go left or right? Which choice do I take? Which option do I take? This is just reminding you, Aries, that you do know what to do. It may seem like you don't know to do but you do trust me you do you need to follow your heart's desires here listen to your heart now don't think so much with your head you got to listen to your heart and find out what is it that you need to know here what is it that you truly but truly truly want here because this is also reminding you you cannot make a wrong decision you're already holding on to a want because you know which option to take here it's just trusting your instincts here. The big energy is just kind of like, listen to your heart and it's going to be okay. But let's look at you, Aries. We do have the three of swords here. Three of swords, not my favorite card. However, though, it does show that there's been a third party intrusion here. So again, for some of you re looking at this reading there could have been infidelity someone cheating there could have been family getting involved in-laws there could have been friends getting involved this person may perhaps wasn't uh, a third party intrusion can also be someone that was just not emotionally there for you in other words they were too busy with their friends they were too busy with their own work not necessarily were they cheating but Perhaps they have they were too busy with their friends, not thinking about you, leaving you out in the cold too. Because sometimes I feel like there could be uh situations in relationships where someone is they want to be a relationship, but they also want to still go out with their friends, they still want to have fun. The problem is with the three of swords, nobody wins here. Everybody gets hurt. Everybody loses here. And the thing is, yes, the three of swords is the card of heartbreak I can clearly see for you Aries it's been an absolute heartbreak but who's coming though but we do have the high priestess and I know for some of you watching this you're thinking oh of course the high priestess you don't like seeing the high priestess why 
For those that do not know, this is a card of secrecy, mystery. You don't know yet. There is someone coming who, hmm, we don't know yet. It's a bit of a secret, but it will be revealed to you shortly, soon. Why? The scroll is opened. Depending on the tarot deck, sometimes the scroll is closed, half open or completely opened. So I do feel that someone, though, will be revealing something to you very soon, Aries. A secret, something that you are in the dark about will be revealed to you. Who is it that, or who, who is going to reveal this? We do not know up to this point, because remember, the High Priestess, she's always situated in a temple, somewhere very sacred, protected, in secrecy too. So let's move on though. Let's have a look. What is their intention? What is this person's intention, please? Mm. So we do have the Knight of Wands. The beating heart of the reading, we have the Eight of Wands. Mm. Their action. The Two of Pentacles. So their intention. Their intention, definitely they will be contacting you soon, but it's going to be a call to action though. You will need to take action. You will need to answer for this. Because remember, the Knight of Wands is someone that just goes for it. They're not as impulsive as the Knight of Swords, but this person does take action, does go for it, especially with especially with the things that they are very passionate about. So I feel like this person, their intention is to give you kind of like um, put you in a position where you, you're going to have to decide. You're going to have to decide on something that's related to the high priestess here. It's going to come to a decision. Absolutely. You're going to have to decide. It's not like this person comes with a message. No, this person also comes with a message, but you will need to make a decision over this. Oh, yeah. If we look at the beating heart of the reading, we have the Eight of Wands. Now, Eight of Wands is the sec. well, I'm going to say it is the fastest minor arcana, because first we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and then this is the minor of the chariot. So fast movement. There's going to be a flurry of activity, lots of messages. Notice that it crosses the high priestess. So again, messages. These messages can come in the form of email, social media, um, just someone DM. They're going to DM you. Lots of messages though that are coming, definitely. And again, you're going to have to decide what you want to do though, Aries. What is their action? So they've got the two of pentacles. Their action, they're going to be juggling a bit. It's like they're juggling. Depending what you respond to, Aries, it's like they're going to be juggling because they're kind of, they're kind of like they don't know what to do, if anything. They're juggling. They're playing the juggling act because I feel like they're a little bit indecisive. It's like they, they don't know how to how to deal with this situation. I feel like we need definitely need more confirmation cards with the two of pentacles because, again, if this – it's definitely – we're not talking about finances here, but it's like this person, they're juggling their emotions, they're juggling their next move. They, they It's like they're contemplating, okay, what do I do? What do I do now? Like, yeah, let's have a look. What you should know. <laughs> Nine of pentacles. Near future. Wow. Ace of Cups. Outcome. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. So what you should know. I'll tell you what you need to know, Aries. I love this card, to be honest. You're kind of like really enjoying your freedom, your independence. You're just really enjoying life right now. This is the singles card too, but you're also enjoying the fruits of your labor, your work, your independence. This is when you enjoy, when you make your own money and you buy yourself something because it's like you're, you're very calm at the moment too. You're not angry with the past or the current situation. You're pretty cool, calm and collected. You see this person, she's holding the pentacle close to her chest. She's surrounded by a, a hawk too. And you're just happy at the moment. So it's like 
this person is going to bring messages to you, unexpected messages. You're going to find out from, and now again, these messages, depending, notice that this person is crossing mountains. It could come from overseas, interstate, somewhere where there's a bit of a travel. And you're going to be happy though. I feel like these messages are going to make you really happy. In the near future, we do have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is when someone, again, this is the card related to true love. Lots of love, lots of passion, and someone giving you your cup. So it is the start of a brand new beginning. It's the start of something passionate, igniting the love inside, feeling like a teenager again, feeling excited again. I love seeing cups too. Because again, the cup is filled with water. Water represents emotions. Emotions you haven't felt in a really long time, but you just feel really, just you feel good. You feel so good. Now, in the outcome, we do have the eight. The eight of pentacles. This is you, literally, Aries. You've got your head down in the books. What are you doing? It's like you're working hard. You're studying too. So what I feel is going to happen here you're going to be with the, you're going to have like a choice to make with the messages that are coming to you messages will be coming to you and it's like you're going to be presented with two choices here and what are you going to do you're going to put your head down you're not going to think so much with your emotions but you're going to think okay what am i going to do now what are the pros what are the cons you're thinking very analytical you're not thinking so much with your emotions because you don't want to make the wrong choice remember like i said you cannot make a wrong decision but I feel like you're going to like retreat and just think about, okay, should I say yes or no? What are my options? What should I do here? Definitely. We need to get some confirmation cards though with this reading. But overall, we do not have, we only have this negative card, the three of swords, which is you, Aries. Now, for some of you watching this video, probably this person has hurt you in the past and you're going to find out some messages that's going to give you some clarity. Perhaps you will forgive this person or perhaps there's someone else here. Let's, we need to have a look. We need to find out more about this reading. Because remember, we do when we do see the Three of Swords, it doesn't matter how long ago this happened, there's still a little bit of that trauma that's lingering, that you're still remembering, that you're still thinking, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this ended because of that. It's kind of like a shock when we do see the Three of Swords. Okay, Aries, the two of wands that's been confirmed with, but you've gotten this twice, the wheel of fortune. In the beginning of the reading, the wheel of fortune. So from being at the bottom, you're going to be on top. You will know which decision to make here. The current energies is going to be improving. So if you've been feeling low at the moment, no, your energies are going to start improving. They're going to start increasing. You're going to start, be, you're going to start feeling really good, Aries, in the sense that oh, I'm no longer sad. I'm no longer depressed. I'm happy. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy because I deserve happiness. This is beautiful. And again, it's all to do with luck. Things just going smooth, having clarity on the decision that you need to make, Aries. If we look at you, we've got the Three of Swords. Wow. We do have the Tower. So something came crashing down. There was a foundation that just wasn't working. Sometimes when we do see the Tower, because it is upright, it was inevitable. We saw it coming. For most of us watching this, we saw it, we felt it, and it happened. So again, this was a breakup. This was quite a shock. Whatever it is that you found out also with Three of Swords, it's, yeah, it came crashing down this. It was just, yeah. Unfortunately, though, when we do see the tower, not only is it inevitable, the good news is that we can rebuild. We can rebuild from the same bricks and make it stronger. Why? Because we are not the same person as we were before. We are much more stronger. We are just more wiser now. So we can rebuild. We can do much better now. What about the high priestess? 
who is coming? Who is this person? Do they want? Mm. <laughs> so we do have the Nine of Pentacles. This has come out twice. So who is this person? Well, this is someone that's single at the moment. This person is good financially, well off. This person is cool, calm and collected. And again, yeah, this is the type of person that's definitely coming. This person could be also an earth sign, could be Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Is it, what else do we need to know? Mm. So there has been a painful ending. This is when this person has hit rock bottom. There's been painful endings, betrayal, deceit. There's been sadness, shame, anger. But again, this was a huge lesson for this person. Even, yeah, I do feel this person is single, but at the same time, I feel though Aries, I feel Aries that you either it was a mutual breakup because everything came to light or you had to end things. But I feel like this person, they still want you back. I feel like this, they, they need to tell you more about the story that ended because I feel that there's more to the story. There's more that they need to talk about to, to get off their chest. So what is their intention? Yeah, they definitely want to contact you, but this is a call to action. You will need to respond to this. Yeah, we do have the five of swords. Just be careful, um, Aries. This person can probably come back and kind of like manipulate the situation. How? They could probably do this. Look, Aries, let, let's say, for example, if this person cheated on you. This person can come back and say, look, I cheated on you because you blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. Just be careful because this is the card where when we do see the five of sword is the card a bit of selfishness because you can see this person. What are they doing? They're grabbing all the swords. It's like, ha, I have all the swords. And the people in the background, what are they doing? They're like walking away. It's like the people in the background are saying, fine, take the swords. We'll, we don't need you. We'll walk away. So I do feel though, Aries, that you kind of like did walk away from this person and this person was standing proud with all their swords. It's like, ha, yes, I, I won in the end, not necessarily. So yes, this person can come with an ultimatum perhaps, can come with a, a, like a present you with an option, but I feel like this person's going to do this. Aries, we should start again, but... They're going to add something to this. That's why we do also have the High Priestess. There's something that's not finished yet, something that needs to be revealed. So just be wary of that. I will. If we look at the mutual energy, Eight of Swords confirmed with the Eight of Swords. This is cementing more the reading here. This is a flurry of activity, fast messages. This is like speeding up the pace here. So you're both of you will be messaging each other here about this. I feel this person, though, will message you first because this is not finished yet. No, absolutely not. There's, this story is not finished yet. But this person is coming, though, with what I don't like. That uh, The only thing I do not like that this person is coming here with an agenda in the sense, you broke up with me, but don't forget you did this. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, well... If this person really wants to start again fresh with you, they need to start with a fresh, clean slate here. So yes, there will be lots of messages coming in and out. What about their action? I've got the two of pentacles here. Also confirmed with the two of pentacles here. If anything, um, Aries, I do feel though you're not going to be putting up with any BS. What else? Three of swords too. Three of swords has come out too. So I feel like you're going to be reminding this person of what they have done also. So I feel like, like I said, you're not going to put up with any BS. You're also going to be using your voice and telling, um, excuse me, but you did this. So it, it's like this person is going to have like a bit of a shock. It's like, oh, I, I understand I did this, but what about you did this though, Aries, and you did this, Aries. It's like the, they're juggling all their memories, they're juggling the past with the with their emotions. They're all over the place, if anything. We also have the two of swords here. I feel like this person is 
is is afraid absolutely this person is afraid of making the wrong choice this person has they're thinking more with their emotions instead of logically with their head they've got their yeah their emotions are all over the place because i feel like again this person wants to come back clear the air but they're also bringing a bit of not trouble i'm not saying that's not trouble but they're bringing a bit of um reminding you areas of what perhaps what you did but you're also reminding this person, but you did this, which was much, much worse. Let's have a look at what is it that you should know. Yeah. Five of wands. This was going to this is going to cause arguments. This is going to cause fights. Remember, the five of wands is arguments, egos clashing, toxic energy. It's it's about finger pointing accusations here so yes there will be messages coming but you need to ask yourself Aries are you better off on your own or do you really want to go back to drama again drama stress anxiety because if we look at the five of wands what are they doing they're just arguing nobody is getting along nobody is giving in here nobody is compromising here and remember the more fives the fives represent little mini towers like this card here because this is the tower the tower is like having all the other five um cards of the suit like the wands the cups the pentacles and the swords here now notice here we do have the five of swords here now we have the five of wands here this is like literally face-to-face -face confrontation arguments here so what you should know definitely aries you need to really think about whether you're better off on your own or dealing with this person. If you deal with this person, yes, there will be arguments. I really do think you need to follow what you truly, truly want. Do not forget perhaps the reason why you broke up with this person, why this relationship fell apart in the first place. If we look at in the near future, cups. We've got the Ace of Cups also with the Eight of Swords here. This is a mental card here. Now, we can avoid this, Aries. This is just reminding you, Aries, please, do not feel trapped or imprisoned. Do not feel that you cannot move. All you need to do is just remove this blindfold, not listen to the BS of your thoughts, the negative thoughts. Don't, don't listen to any of that because you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is true love. Someone offering you a cup, but I do feel for some of you, be like, oh my God, are you going to be the same person as this person? Are you really going to take care of me or are you going to hurt me? And that plays a lot. When we do go through challenging relationships, especially challenging relationships, what does the mind do? The mind wants to protect you, keep you in a little bubble, keep you in a little cocoon. No, we cannot do that because we do deserve love. And most of all, we do deserve happiness. So in the outcome... We do have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to be quite honest here. I do feel that there is love somewhere else because you've got the Ace of Pentacles and now you have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, just what's the chest doing? The chest is bursting with pentacles here because when we do see the Ten of Pentacles, that is like someone offering you the generosity. There's money to share love to share, the home to share. And again, I feel though we have the two of wands. You'd be like, do I take this person back or do I stay single to pursue something else? I do feel though it's going to come to you very easy, this decision. You're going to see for yourself. Even if this person comes back and you hear them out, yes, I feel like there's going to be something else, more happiness somewhere else for you, definitely. Now, we do have the, also the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is the student card. This was a huge lesson for you, Aries. This person was just a lesson. And because of that, you're better now. You're much wiser. You're much knowledgeable. You're taking in all the experience and coming out much wiser. So in other words, you're not the same person as you were a year ago, six months ago. No way. You're better now. You can see someone's toxic or BS from a mile away. You, you can definitely see it. So one more card. 
And yeah, it's time to act like the queen of swords now. In the outcome, you will be presented with a situation where you will need to make a decision, but you're better off making a decision from your head, not from your heart. Think analytically, think logically. Does this situation really serve you? Because this is what the Queen of Swords does. She removes her heart to allow the person to speak before she chops the person's head off, so to say. So again, Aries, it will come down to you deciding. But I do feel, though, that there's a reason why this situation ended. Because unfortunately, we do have the most challenging cards too. We have the Tower, the Three of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. This is when this person hits rock bottom and their action they don't even know what they really really want because I feel like this person is kind of like playing the victim also with the three of swords they're like well you hurt me too Aries what about me they're, because and the reason why I'm picking up a very big selfish energy from this person because we also have the five of swords their intention their intention is to come in and say listen Aries I want you back but at the same time they're also going to hint. They're going to very be very subtle and say, well, let's not forget about this and this, Aries. Huh? So usually when somebody wants to come back, usually they want to start a clean slate and leave the past behind. This person doesn't want to start a clean slate. They're bringing the past into the present moment. And what do we end with? We end with lots of fights, arguments, finger pointing. There's egos clashing here. And you also have the singles card here. This person is single, but they're cool, calm, and collected. They're happy. They're enjoying their freedom and their independence. And if anything, I feel like there is happiness somewhere else. But you need to get out of your head, Aries. Get rid of this mental imprisonment. Get rid of this, this feeling feeling stuck, feeling that you're unable to move. Because remember, none of the swords are touching this person. This person can very easily remove her blindfold. And remember, there is definitely love. There is definitely that passion waiting for you. But in the outcome, though, you're going to be, you need to make a logical decision, not an emotional decision, please, because it's surrounded by pentacles and a sword, the queen of swords, the most volatile queen, pretty much, I'm going to say. Whatever decision you make, you cannot make a wrong decision. Because deep down, Aries, you know what you want. I just feel that this person here is coming back, but they're coming more with an agenda here. And I do feel, though, you're smart, Aries. You're going to see it a mile away because, because you know what, you, you can see it. You can definitely see what you need to do. You can see. You're already holding a wand because you know what you want to do. You know what you have to do. And the thing is, you're going to see this already. It's going to be so visible, especially when this person starts talking. As soon as this person starts to talk, you're going to start realizing, okay, yeah, this person wants to come back. At the same time, they're giving me their own BS too. <laughs> so Aries, thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Sending you lots of love and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.